I'm Craig Resnick, I'm Vice President with the ARC Advisory Group. We're a market research and management consulting firm. The biggest barrier in manufacturing is what we call as unplanned or unscheduled downtime. So anything that can be done to be able to measure a variable that would be a potential cause of downtime in the future, if you can alleviate that, you can uh, the, the, the savings to the manufacturer is, is, is almost infinity. So one of the things you do in the industrial internet of things is, is take Take advantage of today's low-cost sensing technology and now you're able to measure things beyond what's traditionally done in process control or discrete control because you're able to look at for example what's the oil viscosity like in that motor uh, what kind, what are the bearing temperatures uh, in that motor and the reason you're doing that is because you want to be able to predict when is that motor going to fail now the other thing that really drives the market is you know, most people will tell you that they're swimming in data, but, uh, you know, they have way, tons of data, but they're drowning in that same data because they haven't converted that data into meaningful information. But just imagine if you could analyze that historical data and say on a day that is very humid out for, uh, side, for example, maybe on those days, the batch process in our food, in our food plant um, is it operating as well? Because maybe we, we're taking into account of more variables. So that way you may adjust the recipe, for example, of the product, uh, which certainly you can do that with, let's say, like a one-to-wear in batch. So it's not just what's going on on the factory floor, but it could be other issues like in the environment. Maybe it's the fact that at certain times of year the plant isn't staffed correctly, maybe because maybe more people are taking vacation, there's less people paying attention to the process. So it's really kind of combining that and let the analytics make the determination how to pr better proactively manufacture that product. Well, uh, what really got me excited is they're coming out with a product called Prometheus. Most plants have a, a multitude of vendors or suppliers represented on the, in their manufacturing processes. But at one time, you would have to, if you wanted to make any changes or configuration or programming, you had to use their specific programming packages. So if you have 10 different uh, suppliers' devices on the factory floor, it could be 10 different uh, software packages to, con to configure, configure and change and make, uh, make, make uh, you know, programming updates, patches. Uh, now what you have today is with Prometheus, it provides a single program that enables you to configure both Wonderwear Schneider Electric and non wonderware Schneider Electric devices. So it really provides a, a single point of configuration and programming and uh, that has uh, certainly uh, tremendously positive ramifications for the user uh, for simplicity, for maintenance, for training uh, by knowing the fact they will have a central point where they can provide all these uh, services. So imagine having to train somebody on the factory floor on one package to configure rather than having to train them on multiple packages to configure and all that time and cost savings. There's this fear factor that what if they make an investment of their money and their time in something that they can't uh, you know, justify as easily as they would like. I wish people were a little bit less risk adverse and we're more willing to say, you know, I really have the faith in the technology, I have faith in, in the suppliers such as Wonderware to provide these solutions, who really understand their customers' needs and their processes, and would be more willing to kind of say, let's, let's, let's install this and let's, let's, let's reap the benefits. Because sometimes I'll see a year or two go by, and after they install it, they'll say, wow, I wish I did that two years ago, and think of all the money that I could have saved over the past two years.